According to WPA politician Takuma Ogunse, leaders of the party owed it to their members to seriously consider their continued involvement in APNU. He noted that there are concerns that the party's time in the coalition has not done them and the country as a whole any good. The relationship between the WPA and the P and CR in the APMU, and by extension the relations in the APMU plus AFC government, on a number of issues have been a serious problem for the WPA. And has had the effect of creating a lot of internal tensions within the party, both at home and overseas. And I believe that given the last almost three years in government, and, um, and many people in the party, both abroad and at home, have varying views as to whether the WPA's presence in government has been beneficial for the country and the party. And I believe that we, in the leadership at home, faced with the numerous pressures both internally to Guyana and externally within the party, has a duty to concede to the membership and the supportership that this question to be put on the agenda for a mature and serious discussion. Ogunse explained that after observing the coalition politics in Guyana since 2015, it has not lived up to its expectations. According to Ogunse, coalition politics have involved the cabinet making and executing policies with the WPA party members being informed through the press. Now, I am disappointed that in the APMU, okay, the way in which the politics, the coalition politics within the APMU have developed over the last three years is leave much to be desired. Okay? I mean, there's little consultations, there's little forums, you know, for um, people articulating, you know, concerns and views. And in any coalition, the parties are the groups that determine policy, and the cabinet executes the policies that are designed by the parties, and they execute on a day to day basis. But the way in which matters have developed in this coalition, is that the cabinet usurped both positions. They usurped the positions of the party to make and define policies, and they also execute the policy. Meanwhile, in sections of the media on Monday, PNCR General Secretary Amna Ali was reported expressing unconcern to talk of the WPA breaking away. According to Ali, things were being blown out of proportion. But in response to Ali, WPA executive Dr. David Hines warned that the party was very serious about examining its future with APNU. He noted that the party leaving has always been on the agenda and they have always been aware that the day may come when hard decisions would have to be taken. Hines warned that the coalition's strength lay in unity. He also reminded that 2015's victory would not have been possible as individual parties. For the Evening News, I am Jarrell Bryan.